Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be building another brand new locomotive that was just shown off and we're going to be building Metro North number 201, their brand new Conrail Heritage Unit. And this is another GE Genesis locomotive and you will see it does have yellow paint on the nose but this is an accurate paint scheme to the pass as Conrail's FL9s used this paint scheme on passenger trains way back in the day. And this is brand new and I was quite excited to build it as the GE Genesis is one of my favorites. So this is what it looks like. Now let's get right into our build. So we're going to start off with the rear coupler so take out a dark oak stair and attach that up on the second layer. Under it a sideways dark oak manscape. Then on the next block forward on the bottom we're going to take blackstone brick stairs and we're going to put five of them facing backwards coming across. Above that a blackstone brick block in the middle and two upside down stairs facing backwards on either side of it. Then we're going to come back here and open a birch fence gate above each rail and open a dark oak fence gate above each of those. Then on top of this we're going to put a row of five light blue concrete. Then we're going to come in front of this and we're going to be on the outer edge on the second layer. And we're going to put an outward facing black stone brick stair right here on the second layer and one on this side. Then come down on the bottom aligned right in front of this where the stairs are and we're going to put a fence gate on each rail here and here. Then we'll do the back wheel so another right wheel on each rail and in the middle a deep slate tile top slab, then three wide of slabs. Then we're gonna skip one block forward and do three wide of top slabs here. And then on this central gap, three deep slate tile bottom slabs. Then up here, one top slab in the middle and another right wheel on each side. Put a fence gate on the front of these two wheels. Then come on the side of these slabs, put three fence gates, and open the outer two. Repeat it on this side. Then we're going to go through and we're going to put a hopper on the side of all four netherite wheels. Then we'll crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And same thing over on this side, a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper over here. Then come in front of these fence gates on the bottom, leave one block of space, so skip a block forward, and we're gonna do a three by three of polished black stone top slabs in the center, one block in front of those fence gates. Then we're gonna switch over to chiseled polished black stone block and do a three by three on top of these slabs. Then go to black stone brick slabs, Skip one block forward so there's a gap of space and do a three by seven of top slabs in the middle. Then on the center up here, four top slabs up the middle and we're gonna put four grindstones on either side of this row of slabs. Then we're gonna come on the side back here and we're gonna do six polished deep slate walls and then a dark oak fence gate. Repeat it on this side so put a fence gate here and then six polished deep slate walls. Then we'll go to our black stone brick block on the second layer, come on the back here and do a line right down the middle across here. And on the side of it, put a full row of dark oak fence gates here. And also repeat on this side, a full row of fence gates here. Then we're gonna come all the way up in front of this, and right in front of this on bottom, we're gonna put three sideways fence gates right here in the center. Then skip a block in front of it and put a sideways fence gate on each rail so there's a gap of space. Then take black stone brick block up here and we'll go three wide in the middle up here and start bringing it forward. And we're gonna stop one block before these front fence gates on the bottom, so right here. Then we'll do the front truck, so come in front of these fence gates and put another right wheel on each rail. Then a deep slate tile top slab in the middle, then three top slabs in the middle. Skip a block forward and three top slabs in the middle. In the gap here, crouch and put three bottom slabs on the center. Then up here, one slab in the middle and another right wheel on each side. Put a fence gate on the front of these two wheels. 
then go through and put a hopper on all four netherite wheels. On the side middle, do three fence gates and open the outer two. And same thing on this side here. Next, we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And then we will repeat over here, a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper over here. Then we're going to come in front of this truck with black stone brick stairs. And right in front of these fence gates on bottom, we need to go five wide of upside down stairs facing backwards. Then, in front of this on the bottom, we're going to put three right side up forward facing stairs in the middle. Then an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above this, we're going to put a black stone brick block in the center and two upside down stairs facing forward on either side of it. Then take a dark oak stair for the front coupler. Turn around and stack it up to this top middle block. Under here, we'll put a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then we're gonna open a birch fence gate above each rail, then a dark oak fence gate above each of those. Then on top of the front here, we'll go five wide of light blue concrete on this third layer, like this. Then we're gonna go back to our black stone brick block and we're gonna come across the center of this front gap up to the front. Then a full row of dark oak vent skates here. Same thing on this side, a full row of dark oak vent skates here. Then we're gonna come up on this front outer corner here. And we're gonna put a black stone brick block here and here, then an upside down black stone brick stair facing back backward on either side. Then we'll take our black stone brick stairs right behind the truck on this top corner and put an upside down stair facing forward here and here. Then we're gonna put a brewing stand on the front of each stair. Then across this gap on the top edge, we'll do a row of black stone brick slabs here. And then same thing on this side, a row of black stone brick slabs right here. Then we'll go back to black stone brick stair right in front of this chisel polished blackstone and upside down stair backwards here and here. Across this, do a full row of blackstone brick blocks up here. And same thing on this side, a full row of blackstone brick blocks between the stairs here. Then on the back here, we're just gonna do a row of blackstone brick slab across this top outer edge to the back. And then same thing on this side, a row of blackstone brick slabs across this top edge until it's all filled in so the base is five blocks wide. Next, take out netherite blocks. Start at one end on this third layer and we're gonna go three wide in the middle with it and we're just gonna bring this down all the way across the top. And we're gonna bring that right down to the other end. Then we're gonna come to the rear end and on this back corner an upside down prismarine brick stair on either side. And then finally in front of the stair, on this top edge, just do a full line of light blue concrete all the way across the top and up to the front. And we will of course repeat on this side, so do a full line of light blue concrete all the way across the top of this side, going end to end. And now the base is done and we're gonna come back up to the front end. Now we're gonna work on the front end. So we're gonna take out some yellow concrete and we're gonna come right on top of that front and we're gonna put two rows of three in the center. Then we're gonna put two yellow stained glass panes in a column on each side of it here. And actually I made a mistake. We need to come knock out this bottom corner light blue concrete put a light blue stained glass pane on either side like this then we're gonna come on top of this in the middle and we're gonna put three yellow stained glass panes on the center then behind it three yellow concrete in the middle then we'll add a yellow stained glass pane on the side here and here and then two yellow concrete on the outer edge under it and then two on this side Then, on this top stained glass pane, we're gonna add a single yellow concrete behind it on this outer edge here, and one here. 
Then on these three yellow concrete, we'll put a yellow stained glass pane in the center, and then two black stained glass panes on either side of it. Behind this, we're gonna put a yellow concrete in the center and two black stained glass blocks on either side. Then I added a white stained glass pane here and here, but that's wrong. We need to put a yellow concrete on the side of the top on each side, and the white stained glass pane needs to go on that concrete on each side. So here and here. Then on this bottom edge under this, we're gonna to go to light blue concrete and we're gonna do a row of five light blue concrete coming back. And then we'll just fill that in three blocks tall to the back of that. Same thing here, so five light blue concrete under here, and fill that in three blocks tall here. Then up here, we're gonna do two black stained glass panes on either side and a light blue concrete on the back. Then behind this, we're actually gonna knock out this block and put three upside down prismarine brick stairs in a column and a warp door on top. Then repeat on this side, so three stairs upside down, and then a door on top. Behind it, do a column of four light blue concrete on either side. Then on either side of this door, we're gonna put four birch fences on either side of it for a railing. Same thing on this side, four birch fences on either side of this. And then we're gonna move down and start working from the back end. Back here, on this middle, we're gonna put three iron trap doors here, then a door in the middle, and a two by two of light blue concrete on either side. Then two rows of five light blue concrete across the top, so it's four blocks tall here. Then in front of this, on either side, we're gonna put a warped door. Then a column of two light blue concrete in front of it on each side. And then on either side of this door, we'll put two birch fences on both sides. And same thing over here, two birch fences on either side of this door. Then in front of this on the bottom, two rows of three deep slate tile walls on either side. Then a column of two light blue concrete on each side. Then another two rows of three deep slate tile walls on either side. Then in front of this, we're just going to go two blocks tall with light blue concrete and fill this whole side in all the way up to the front. Repeat on this side, fill this whole side in, two blocks tall, with our light blue concrete. Then once we have that, we're going to add a third layer of light blue concrete all the way across the top here, to the back. And same thing here, start above this door and do another full single layer of light blue concrete all the way across. Then there's some vents on top. So right here on this side, in this corner, we're gonna put two outward facing deep slate tile stairs, then a light blue concrete. Two deep slate tile walls next, then a light blue concrete. Then two more walls. On this side, up here, we're gonna do two stone brick walls, a concrete, two deep slate tile walls, concrete, two deep slate tile walls. Then right here on the top of each side, put a single deep slate tile wall. Then fill this gap with light blue concrete, and then this gap to the back. Same thing up here, fill this with light blue concrete, and then across here. Then we're gonna come up and detail the front end. Up here, on this light blue concrete on the bottom, we're going to put a single warp button on either side, then above it, a glow item frame with a frog light on each side. Above that, a mangrove button, then in the middle, a glow item frame with a frog light. Then above that in the middle, we're gonna do a bamboo sign, and we're gonna type CONRAIL in all capital letters. Then we're gonna hit that sign with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we're gonna move down and do our details on the back end. So we're gonna come all the way to the back with a warp sign, and we're gonna come on each top corner and put a sign with 201 on either side up here. Hit them both with white dye and a glowing sack. Then in the middle, a glow item frame with a frog light. Under this, three dark oak signs in the middle. And then a stone button on either side of the signs. Now come on top of the back 
and do two rows of three prismarine brick slabs in the center up here. Then a slab on either side, light blue concrete in the middle. Then an iron trap door in the middle, and a concrete on either side. Then a bottom slab on either side, and a light blue concrete. In front of this, we'll do two rows of three prismarine brick slabs. Then we're gonna skip one block forward in the middle and get a decorated pot in the center. And we're gonna use prismarine brick stairs facing outward all the way around this pot, wrapping around all the corners. Then we'll take our prismarine brick slabs again, and we're gonna come on this side, behind this mat, and put two slabs right here, like this, and use that to open a warp fence gate and a sideways one behind it for the horn. Then come back up on this level, attach your slabs up three wide here, and fill this all in three wide. On the side of this horn, a two by two here, and then in front of it, go back to going three wide. And we'll just keep bringing this forward across the top middle three wide. Then when we get up here, aligned with these windows on the sides, we're gonna put two slabs on each side here, and two prismarine brick stairs going this way here. Then three slabs here. Then on the front middle, we're gonna put three bamboo slabs. On the center slab, we need to put a bamboo sign, and on that is just gonna be our number, so we'll type 201, and hit it with white dye and a glowing sack. Then on this outer edge, we need to put two yellow carpet on the top of each side. And then actually, the yellow goes back one more, so these three slabs here need to be bamboo slabs. Then behind this, on this top outer edge, we're just gonna do a full line of light blue carpet coming all the way across this top outside edge to the back. And repeat on this side. Start on top of the back here and do another full line of light blue carpet all the way across this top outside edge and bring it all the way up to the front here, just like Now come into a loom with a light blue banner and white die and put a horizontal on the top and the bottom, then this diagonal, new banner, a vertical on the left and the right and a horizontal on the top and the bottom, new banner, a vertical in the middle. Go to light blue die and put a light blue border around these three. Then one more new banner with white dye, and put a horizontal line on the center. Then we'll do a yellow banner with light blue dye, make the bottom half light blue, and a white horizontal in the middle. And then we're gonna come place these. So come up front with this yellow one, and put this on the middle right here, so you get that white pinstripe. Then we're gonna come back here for the number, and up here, behind the door, put three item frames here, and on the item frames, use your banners to put 201. Then we will of course repeat on this side. So put three item frames here and use the banners to put 201. Then we're gonna take the blue and white stripe one and put one down right here. Then in front of this, a full row of this banner all the way across the bottom. And then four across right here and then the yellow one on the corner. So we get that white pinstripe on the bottom. Repeat on this side. So we're gonna put this yellow one here then pour the blue and white here, and then all the way across the bottom, right here, and then one between the vents here. Then right here, by this map, we're gonna put four birch signs to represent where it says Conrail. And then same thing on this side, put four birch signs right here. Then we have more banners to make. So come into a loom with a yellow banner and light blue dye, and we're gonna do this bottom triangle then another one with the opposite bottom triangle. Then a light blue banner, white dye, put a horizontal in the middle and the top, and then another one with a horizontal in the middle and on bottom. And these stripe ones are gonna be for the logo, so we're gonna come under this mat up here, put a bottom one, then the top one, then move down a hitbox, and five bottom ones across here for the Conrail logo. We're gonna repeat on this side, so we're gonna put the bottom stripe one here, the top stripe one here, Move down a hitbox, and the bottom stripe ones across here. Then up here, put this blue and yellow one in this corner here. And then repeat on this side, put the opposite triangle one here. Now we'll come inside, so take out smooth sandstone blocks, and come on inside the cab here. And we'll put three across here where the doors are, and another 
another three behind it. And then we'll fill in this whole cap floor at the same level, three wide, with our smooth sandstone. And we'll put three under the windows, then three slabs here. On it, we'll put two glow item frames with end crystals, and then a lever. Turn around and put a stair here and here for seats. Then back here, a two by two of blast furnaces on the right. And then a door right here. Then we'll come through the door, take our smooth sandstone out again. At this same level, add another six coming back. And fill that in three wide. Then we'll add a two by two here. Leave two blocks of space, and on the third block behind it, another two by two here. Then we'll actually add three more here, and then a two by two over here. Then we're gonna add two here, and in here we'll put two blast furnaces and a lever, because it's an electrical room, then a door. Then in here, an end portal, two blocks here, and a door here. Then come back here and put a door there. Then put two stairs coming down in front of the doors, and then a two by two of smooth sandstone blocks on the side of it, and raise that all the way up to the top. Then in the middle, a column of decorated pots here. Then on the bottom middle, we're gonna do eight anvils coming down the center, and above it, eight netherite blocks. Then we're gonna go through, and on each netherite block, we're gonna put a dark oak button on the side, and then repeat over here, a button on each block over here. Then above that, we'll do another row of anvils on the top of it. Then up here, on the front, put four polished deep slate walls, then four netherite blocks. Behind this, a column of decorated pots, four tall in the middle. Then on the bottom, we're gonna put two horizontal end rods, and behind this, We'll do two rows of three smooth stone blocks in the middle. Then two up here, two brewing stands here, and an anvil here. Behind this, two netherite in the middle, and across the top, two rows of three netherite up here. And that completes the inside, so we can come back outside. And then I just realized after making this here, I forgot a couple details, and I realized this is a P32 ACDM, not a P42, so that means it can also run off electrical power. So we need to come back in and put in the third rail pickups here. So there's this 40th anniversary logo I forgot back here. And since it's only a one block area, we're just gonna take a birch sign and put that right here next to the door. And then same thing here, put the sign right here. Then we'll do the third rail pickup, so come down on the truck here. And we're just going to take out this fence gate. And we'll add a mangrove trap door here for the third rail pickup. Then we'll come up on the front truck. And if it aligns with no railroad tie like this, we'll just put a temporary block here and take out that fence gate and add a trap door there and remove the temporary block. Just like that. And of course, we need to do the same thing over here. So we'll put a temporary block down here and switch this fence gate to a mangrove trap door. And one more corner to go. We'll switch this to a trap door. And there we have it, folks. We finally completed Metro North number 201, the brand new Conrail Heritage Unit GE Genesis locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.